Welcome back everybody, what's going on? Worst Epic Gamer here and today I've got a special awakening. We are about to awaken the bloodthirsty werewolf Yulfing guys. It's been a long time since we've actually talked about Yulfing. Not a lot of people are using him in the arena meta game right now, but let's see if this awakening is going to literally transform him into a super powerful beast that we can actually use in our arena teams and our raids and things of that sort, alright? So... Without any further ado, let's just jump right into it, guys. Uh, part 1 is already complete. As you can see, I've got his item. Let's go on to part number 2. So, for the second part, he's got to do Tidal Temple twice. Hmm. I'm so glad that they shortened this, guys. Boy, am I freaking glad. So, let's go ahead. And I'm going to use some of the old, old heroes that you, you'll think is used to. You know what I'm saying? He's not used to all these newer heroes that have been dropped. He's used to these crappy heroes. Oh, Ember. Bam. You know what I'm saying? These are the heroes that Yulfeng is used to, guys, because if you know anything about Soul Hunters, then you know that Yulfeng was in the game when it first got released, right? And actually, all these heroes were in the game when it first got released. You know what I'm saying? They weren't added after the release of the game, so, which is pretty cool. Some of the old Gs of the game, some little insight into the game, because <laughs> it's been a long time, man. Long, long time. And surprisingly, a lot of these heroes pretty much most of them still stank they all suck well Leia is not bad when she was back in the day but she needs some crazy tuning up she needs awakening she needs a new skin actually she needs all skin take off all her clothes just give her skin I will be totally up for that guys how about that she's barely wearing any clothes as it is you might as well take them all off and just give her skin the first hero ever to go completely nude but you know we're getting off track here because now we're talking about a, a yule fang we're talking about a werewolf here who's all fully clothed with full of hair all right so he's got to do chapter 14 without anybody dying so let's go ahead guys let's get back on track here ah, Henya. now we're going to team him up with some other heroes the ones that won't die that's kind oh let's go with this why not yeah, look at this destruction. I will probably... Ah, easy prey. I will probably get through these guys without even taking one hit. Look at this, the shield is still up. Uh, destruction without even... Before the shield is even down. <laughs> How easy is this? I'll tear them to pieces. Go ahead, you old thing. Do your thing. Thank you, me, Jingy. Boom, done deal. Slap your fingers. It's over. Fools, your time is up. Let's go! Boom! <laughs> My awakening is finally complete. Yo, that's crazy how he knows that he's about to be awakened. Uh, talk about confidence or whatever that's called. Talking in third person. Here we go! Let's go, guys! Transformation! All right! Uh, <laughs> what? Uh, okay, that just seems like 1,000 years have passed. So this is you'll think a thousand years later, guys. <laughs> He's literally got white hair. <laughs> All right, so it seems like the body didn't seem to change all that much, but um, his hair and his face kind of changed a little bit. Not not bad, not bad. Ooh, look at this card though. Woo, 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 woo. You'll think looking awesome. Oh, I love that. And for some reason, he's really mad at the birds flying up above. <laughs> he wants to jump up there and eat all the birds. He's starving. Somebody give him some food. Yeah, so take a look, guys. What do you guys think? What do you guys think about this transformation, guys? Pretty cool, actually. I like it. Like I said before, if, to me, it just seems like he's older. He just got, like, he went from being in his, in his mid-20s to his late 90s. <laughs> all right, here we go. What is your uh, wolf's rage here? This is a uh, waking ability here, guys. Allies who are affected by control abilities gain additional physical and magic armor. Hmm. In addition, each time an allied unit is affected by a control ability, Yulfeng increases his physical attack for the duration of the wave. Can only be triggered once. All right, so that seems pretty cool, guys. At level one. All right, let's, let's go ahead. Let's put 20 on this right now. 20 right there. And... Uh, let's see, 150, 
uh, physical armor, magic armor increased base by 75, increased physical attack by 105. Uh, that's a small increase, it's not a huge increase, but it is an increase. Okay, now let's go ahead, guys. And uh, first thing first, I want to let me see if I can give him anything. Physical attack, bam, let's give that to him. Physical attack, oh, more physical attack. Physical crit, why not? It's purple, it's not you know legendary, but it's it's all good. We'll take it, we'll take it. Let's go on to the next part. Alright guys, so first things first, I went ahead and I enchanted his item right there, so it got a nice little boost, so everything is all enchanted now. So it's good to go on all encha enchantments, let's head over to the forge. Alright, now it's time to forge a little bit here, so 20 times, let's just go ahead real quickly, just get this out of the way. His uh, heroic academy is already done, forge is started right now, all enchantments are done. Only thing left to do now guys is... Take him to a battle and destroy our opponent. So let's go ahead. Let's jump into a battle right now. And let's see what this guy can do in a battle. Let's literally jump right into this battle, guys. And that's what Yulfing does uh, if you slow it down right now. This is his second ability, guys. Thrill of the Hunt. Increases physical and magic attack as well as attack speed of all of your allies, right? So this is a pretty cool ability that he has. As soon as the battle starts, he's going to jump right inside and gives haste to your whole team. So, a very nice second ability that he starts off with. And then... Alright, I want to slow it down right here, guys, because this is how I'm going to break down his Awakened ability. So, Wolf's Rage, uh, Rage, as we talked about, is his Awakened abilities. All allies who are affected by a control ability will gain physical and magic armor. So, as you can see there... Uh, who is it? He's stunned, as you can see. He's stunned. And I'm pretty sure Batman is also stunned. And maybe Petros. I can't tell if Petros is, but I can see Batman is definitely stunned. They automatically get... Uh, physical armor and magic armor boost right so that's one of his abilities for his awakening on top of that you'll think is going to get a uh, physical attack increase for every time an ally is been stunned so as you can see he's also going to get a physical armor increase so but you can only get that for two times all right guys so that's kind of how it works throughout the battle uh, as long as uh, your you know, your ally has been stunned. They're going to get a physical and, an, uh, and a magic increase, an armor increase. But he can only get a physical attack increase. This is what we're talking about Yulfing now. Only twice per battle. So check it out. As you can see there, they get stunned. He gets his attack, uh, you know, increased. And they get their physical and magic armor increase. Now this can go on throughout the whole battle, guys. The only thing that's only twice is the increase in physical attack of Yulfing. That's the only thing that uh, can only be twice. The rest of it, so as you can see here, another stun, physical armor going up. You can see that. So anytime they get stunned, physical armor going up. And his physical attack is going up. More physical attack going up. Alright, now, now is his third ability. He's going into, uh, it's called Chilling Howl. As you can see, deals AoE physical damage as well as reduces enemy armor. So he's reducing the armor. He's increasing your magic and physical armor so far. And he's giving your team a haste. Uh, that's pretty good support. So far, so good. Well, you'll find you're doing your thing, thinking me, Jiggy. Now, as you can see, his health is pretty low, guys. He's taking a bit of damage there in the front. Uh, if you don't have some other heroes in front of him to protect him, you're going to be in trouble. But if you do have heroes to can protect them, you know, I'm thinking Valon, maybe, possibly. Uh, there's some possibilities they can go in front of him. He is giving your team a pretty good boost right away, as you can see that. All right, now, uh, this is his fourth ability, guys. Pro Prowess of the Wolf. So, um, all this really is going to do is increase your all your allies' lifesteal. This is a very unique ability, and I'm pretty sure that you'll think is the only one and even though i spelled life streal <laughs> wrong there auto correct <laughs> that's supposed to say life steal guys even though i spelled it wrong he i'm pretty sure i'm almost 100 percent sure that you'll think is the only hero in the whole game that has this ability that's going to give your whole team life steal it's pretty sick ability so i recommend you use them on a team full of physical um, you know, I mean a full physical uh, team Don't put any magic in there go all physical because he's with his howling ch chilling howl He's reducing the armor with lifesteal. He's increasing your lifesteal Obviously and you want physical heroes to increase lifesteal because magic heroes don't have lifesteal All right, that's how it works and right here if it wasn't for our good buddy Petros here taking this big old hit from Mog, uh, That could be the end of Yulfing right there, so that's why you want to have Pia, you know, heroes in front of him. 
That's why it's very, very crucial to have heroes in front of them. So now let's check out the rest of this battle here. This is a pretty good sequence because my opponent team is all stacked up. Look at this perfect ultimate from uh, Petros, guys. Everybody's literally stacked up right there. Nobody's really moved out of their spot. So this is a great ultimate to go with. Boom! And now here it comes. This is his ultimate. Uh, Earth Shattered. It deals physical damage, AOE physical damage to all your en all your enemies, and it also stuns them, guys. So if you keep running this right now. You can see they are all confused. Check it out. The confusion is everywhere. Uh, so he deals a good amount, a good amount of stun, guys. So that's really good. Pair him up. Maybe I was just thinking uh, Mechano would be nice because Mechano definitely uh, benefits from all the stuns. But she's magic, so maybe you should run her with some other team, but. Nonetheless, I digress. I'm just going on about nothing here. So you can see that all the good things that he does in your battle, guys. He's not your front tank. You do not want to have him first. But as a support tank, he is incredible. I, he's not going to be doing, you know, most of the damage. But he's giving your team a lot of boost, guys. That come in handy in really tight battles here. And this is a battle for the top 10 in my arena position. So it's pretty good battle. And it turned out really, really well from here. As you can see, we won the battle. And everybody's still alive. Uh, the haste, the attack boost, the magic and physical armor boost, the reduction in enemy armor, all of the above. He does a lot of little different things for your team that, you know, they're actually really, really cool. Really good. Uh, Hall of Legends, don't really use them in Hall of Legends. Raids, you could potentially definitely use them in raids, right? Those, you know, like I said before, the physical reduction, increase in attack. So... I have to try him in some raids. I'm pretty sure he's usable in raids. But uh, in the arena, yeah, definitely. There's definitely uh, spots for Yulfing, guys. Situational. He's not a universal hero where you can use him on every team. Kind of like Batman, Petros, Mira, Adeline. These are the heroes that are top tier, guys. Where you can use him on any, any team. They're going to do great. He's more of a different kind of a beast, literally. He's, you know, you'd want to run him with sp special heroes. To get the best out of him. Like I said before. All right, He's not going to benefit your magic heroes. As much as he would benefit your physical heroes. Because of the lifesteal boost. The reduction in physical attack. Uh, physical armor. So you want to pair him up with a lot of. Uh, you know mostly physical hitting heroes. Alright guys so here we have it. Yulfang Awakened. What do you guys think? Do you, do you like it? Do you not like it? Personally I think it's pretty cool. Uh, obviously this ability is uh, a lot better than before because he, he is giving your team a bigger boost in their armor and in their physical attack so it does help out with his other abilities. <sighs> Still does not seem, right now at least, <laughs> does not seem to overtake any of the top guys. He's definitely usable though guys, for sure usable in your meta uh, you know, teams. But I'm going to be using him a lot more now because mine is pretty, you know, enhanced out. He's all ready to go in action. So I have no really reason not to use him. So I'm going to be doing a lot more testing. I'm going to try him out in some battles as well. And I'm going to let you guys know exactly how he does, all right? So I'm going to end this off here, guys. I will check you guys out in the next Soul Hunters Awakening video. Till then, have a good morning, good afternoon, and good nights.